Hey, Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny. I'm here back with another Parlay party for you guys. I've got something in my eye, though. Uh, bear with me. Uh, today is Tuesday, March 21st. Knee surgery went well. Had knee surgery yesterday. Um, so I'm in that the nerve block thing is wearing off, so it's like starting to really hurt. But I'm here for your Parlay pleasure. Uh, I am going to give you a two-team Parlay. That I really like. We'll be on fire. I didn't post one yesterday, but I did hit it. I know you guys are like, oh, yeah, all right, sure. I did. In the morning, I was at the hospital, like, literally backstage, backstage, back whatever, pre-op, I guess they call it. My business, it's backstage. Uh, I'm, in the, I'm in the green room, if you will, uh, otherwise known as pre-op. And my wife's sitting there, and I'm like, give me my phone real quick. And I'm looking, I'm like, bam, I threw a little two-team parlay in it. <laughs> Or a little two fifty plus two fifty action. So, <laughs> woke up and my wife's like, "What are you doing?" And uh, or what were you doing? And she goes, "You really put at least a bet this morning." Like, Don't worry about it. But anyways, um, here's what I got for you guys today. We're gonna go over this real quick. I feel good in this. Uh, I bet this last night, and I bet this. I got. Uh, where did I get out? More hate mail. I love it. Keep sending the hate mail. Keep sending it just so you know. I love it. Because, like, when I have bonfires and stuff, I like to add that stuff to it. So, I bet this. I got Carolina and the Rangers over five and a half. And uh, Ottawa and Boston over six and a half uh, for plus 240 on FanDuel last night. But line moved up a little bit in this six uh, in the Carolina and the, and the Rangers game. And I don't mind it. It's over six at minus 110. This is bar stool. So, um, you know, shop your lines. I'm a big promoter of that. Uh, I have multiple books as well. I think everybody should. It doesn't matter if you don't use them. Um, you know, if you use them, it's, it's about having them if when you need to use them. So shop your lines. There's a link in the description here. I got like five sports books, sports books in your area. If it's a most legal in most legal states, um, you just click on any one of those and you get a referral card and stuff like that. So, uh, over six and a half in the Ottawa Boston game over six in the Carolina Rangers game. We'll start about, we'll start with that one first. Don't forget, like comment, share, hit the thumbs up button, comment your parlay teaser situation for what you guys got going on. I don't care if it's basketball, I don't care if it's hockey, I don't care what it is. Uh, let's get this party started though. Um, Let's start with the Hurricanes and the Rangers. The overs 4 0 in their last four meetings together, uh, head to head. Uh, I like the range. I, I lean Rangers here, um, but didn't bet the side just like the total. Both these guys, uh, goals four for the Carolina Hurricanes, 3.31. Rangers, 3.36. Um, Rangers on a, on a just a, a run. Uh, four game win streak, winning four out of their last five, uh, winning their last four though. Now keep this in mind. They're beating up Nashville, beating up Pittsburgh. Um, it's not like they're beating up, you know, Boston's or anything like that. Uh, Pittsburgh, I'm, I don't want to talk trash, but I'm just saying the winning seven zero is how they're winning it though, is what it's more important about against, as opposed to who they're winning and the winning with goals. Seven zero six zero four two five three. Losing 3-2 in overtime, could have flipped that game 1-3-2. Uh, and that was against Pittsburgh. So they played Pittsburgh uh, three out of the two, five games. Um, flip side of that, Hurricanes. Winning only two out of their last three. Scoring 5-4, winning in overtime against Philly. Losing 5-2, winning 5-3, losing 3-0, 4-0. They can score. They're str they're up, down, all around. Uh, last couple times they played, ended up 5-3, 6-2. So we get to that eight number. I think easily with this game, um, if not seven. So I'm going to go over the six here uh, with this game and take the take the minus one ten. So um, Ottawa and Boston. This one's not. I'm not as the under six and one in their last seven meetings. I'm going to tell you all the reasons it should go under. Senator, uh, the favorite is sixteen and five in their last twenty two meetings. I'm not taking Boston. Huge favorite. Uh, the line on that is like minus two, three hundred, not like two ninety five, three hundred five, wherever. I'm not doing that. Um, the under is four and one in their last five in Boston. Um, so, but individually, Boston's four and zero in their last five. Um, um, 
individually, the overs 4 0 and 1 in Bruins' last five in the fourth game uh, of a four and six day situation. The overs 5 0 in the Bruins' five when their opponent scores two or less. Ottawa's 6 0 in the Senators, or as far Ottawa Senators are 4 0 in their last four against the Atlantic. That's a bunch of over breakdown stats, in my opinion. Here's the true numbers. Uh, first time they met in October, it was 7 5. In December, it was three to two. In February, it was three to one. I'm looking for the split on the totals here. This is the last time they'll play, and I'm looking for an over game. Six and a half. I think we get to seven. Boston coming off a long road trip in Detroit, losing in Chicago, losing. Then they flipped the switch like they do, and then they went three and they beat Winnipeg three nothing. They beat Minnesota five to two. They beat Buffalo. They gave Buffalo a good old fashioned ass whooping seven nothing. Um, Senators losing games, losing a shootout 5-4, scored four, losing 5-4 to Colorado, scored four, losing 6-3 to Edmonton, scored three. Um, they did just lose to Pittsburgh 2-1, looking for a bounce back spot here. Buffalo coming off the road at home, clinched the playoff berth, obviously, probably clinched everything, every trophy-wise, every regular season trophy you can imagine. Um, they're the best team in hockey by far. I look for them to get four by themselves. I can get to four, I can get to seven. That's where I'm at. Um, so I'm taking the over here as well on this one in particular. So over six and a half, minus 106, uh, taking a little bit of a, a gamble on this game here. So hoping Boston doesn't just let off the gas now. Uh, two team parlay plus 272, though. Uh, so that's my parlay situation for the day. I'll see you guys on another one. Good luck, unless you're against me, you know the deal. Uh, we'll see you later. Peace out.